Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Demise with another Pokemon video at your service. So today we're going to give a quick rundown on bravery and test it in the team to see whether or not it is viable in the current VGC 2020 meta. The team you see on the screen right now is the current team I'm running with. However, it's been altered a few times to see what works. So before we get into it, if you want to see more, if you want to see me in action, then check out my streaming channel at www.mixer.com forward slash demised. Make sure to give this video a like and a subscribe if you like the content. Let's go. As you know, Bravery is a Pokemon that generally has some has had some considerable success, and I would dare say uh, it could be fitting in the correct team. However, like many like many Pokemon, um, it would have its flaws somewhere. So we tested him recently in a team. Uh, we personally quite liked him. I, I've I've never ran uh, many flying Pokemon on my teams, but he's definitely one that I like so far. Um. Obviously, so to start off with, you'd run Bravery with the Define ability, as you can see here on Cerebi.net. So his attack is raised by two stages when the Pokemon has its stats lowered. Um, you know, it's a really good ability against, you know, Incineroar and stuff like that, or Hitman Top, someone that comes out with um, Intimidate and whatnot. Um, generally speaking, for his moveset, I think I'm running Brave Bird on him. I'm running Tailwind. I think, is it Superpower? Oh, uh, no, sorry. It's close combat. That's right. So I'm running close combat. And I think I'm running uh, Iron Head or something like that. So the moveset on him is quite decent. Um, it covers a lot of different matchups with different Pokemon. Obviously, you don't know what the opponent's going to throw at you. You can only sort of see in the, the pre-lobby as to whether or not they're going to have, you know, whether it's an electric-type Pokemon straight off the bat or, you know, they're going to have a Pokemon that has an electric-type move that could just take you out and wipe you. Um, but generally, if you have the right EV spread then that shouldn't be a problem. So I've got quite a tanky bravery. So essentially the EV spread, which I can actually show you in the game right now. So basically his EV spread is quite uh, like, I think you're generally meant to put a lot into max HP or something, but I think for my case here, I've actually got him set up as here so as you can see there his hp and his speed is the two main evs that i've got him into um and obviously a little bit into special defense and attack um you know we're, we're running a you know a positive attack negative special attack um and obviously that works really well for his defiant so as you can tell yeah it is generally a good pokemon all around um i've been able to take two or three hits on him before and it's yeah it's just awesome i mean what can i say um Really good Pokemon. Um, getting back to the Cerebi. So, I mean, there's not really much else to show you guys here. Um, you can obviously run different movesets on him if you'd like. But, you know, generally running a, a flying type stab move, a fighting type move, steel, and uh, obviously you could run protect, but I just run tailwind because the way his EVs are set up, he's still pretty tanky. Um, yeah, so basically from here... I've, got a, I've played him in a few different games, so we'll give that a rundown, and we'll see how he performs. Um, I think I played maybe five, six games with him or something like that, so obviously I've got a, a couple of wins here out of those, which is the main thing. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it turns out and um, whether or not it's a Pokemon viable for your team. So um, let's get right in. All right, here we go, another battle running this Bravery team. Let's see if we can do any better this time. Here we go. We got a battle against Jamie. Jamie. All right. Let's see if our odds are a little, little bit better this game. So we got Trainer Type, Blastoid, Sasquatch, Durant, Gengar, and Sylveon. Okay. So there's no obvious strat here. Obviously, probably Swift Swim, Sasquatch, Sylveon. What else can we do? Here? Trainer Type, Durant. And you could run... Nah, Incineroar's kind of crap. I mean, it's okay against Duran, but then you, you, you'd assume that run at least Sizotoad or Blastoids. Gengar's going to hit hard too. I feel like running Surfetched again. I feel like we nearly run the same team as last game. Um, maybe... Dude, but the thing is, like, is Butterfree going to get clapped in one turn? That is the thing. I mean, you run Butterfree, and then we want to run... 
Did we want to run here? Like, they could run... Blastoise, maybe? But early Dynamax. Or they could just size with Toad Dynamax, Max Guys, or something later on. Maybe run Tessarina. We'll run Bravery and Surf Birch in the back or something. And we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes, dudes. <clears throat> oh, he's got his little pose going. Let's... That's oh, his quick attack. Oh, okay. That's nice to Serena. That works really well. So he just wasted his move. Wow, but Duran still kills my Butterfree in one hit. Okay. That's super frustrating. So, like, realistically, a lot of the time, you're going to have to run. Hey. Alright, so I'm, I'm Dynamaxing early. A lot earlier than, what, than I would naturally would like to, but. Let's see if Bravery. It's viable in the current meta. It's obviously going to be a lot different in Master Tier, but we're just going to see how he fares. Okay, so he actually, wow. That's really, like, this Durant actually hits really hard. <laughs> Okay, so let's just say Bravery can do something. I, I feel like my, my issue at the start of battles lately is I'm losing too many Pokemon at the start. Like, I'm losing, like, one, two Pokemon straight off the bat. You know, Butterfree's not getting off its move fast enough. Um, I don't have Tailwind now. I, because I didn't max Airstream, this uh, Durant's actually going to go first again. The only thing I can hope for here is that... I don't... Well, see... The Surfetch would have been really nice against Tyranitar here. I can back off. We'll protect on the Surfetch. Okay, he's in a Dynamax. Who's he going for though? Ah, see, he's gonna go for Bravery though, because he's gonna want to try and one hit kill him. I'll be able to speed up the Surfetch, but I just don't know if Surfetch is gonna be able to like take out this Tyranitar. It just depends if Bravery can take a hit. If Bravery can take a hit from this Tyranitar, then we might have a, like, a go here still. Because obviously this Durant's going to want to hit him. Or is he going to want to hit... Okay, nah, that works. That's awesome. So, I predicted that. Then I'll go next. Max Airstream. Kill him off. And then we're going to go... I mean, the, the issue here though is, it's like, is the speed thing really important? Like, it would have been for the turn afterwards because you would have had to go for the Durant. Oh, he's going to Max Lightning. Ooh, okay. That's really good. So, I haven't procced his uh, weakness policy on the Tyranitar, that is, but I think I did, just did on the Bravery. That's good. Alright, so Bravery should hit hard this turn. We, we could probably double up on Tyranitar, depending on... Like, oh, the thing is, if he max guards, it's going to be wasted of a turn. We're going to be really careful here. We're going to be super careful here. The, the issue, too, is if he doesn't max guard and you let him... Get off another turn, then you're gonna die. <laughs> like someone's and trying to dies. I think I could take another hit. Like this max still spikes in to boost my defense again too, which is nice. Even if I don't kill him, I boost his defense stats on both Surfetched and Bravery, which is which is nice. And then Surfetched. Okay, so I've I've boosted his attack, but now I've got plus two on defense on Bravery. I mean, if I can one hit this, oh no, he's gonna Ice Beam. Ooh, okay, so he's doubling up on Bravery. Okay, so we need to, we need to get this boss. So it's like now we need to get a crit. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so now we got a crit on him. Theoretically speaking, if Tyranitar kills Bravery, Surfetch should kill Tyranitar next turn because I'll outspeed him. But we'll see who's going. He's going for yep, he's going for him. That's cool. All right. So I think that works. Uh, I think that's it. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that he max guards here. But then the thing is, like, he's got no way of outspeeding me. And I've got... You know, I, I can go for 100% hit. Well, they're both. It doesn't really matter. Like, you got to just go in close combat and just finish the game off. Yeah, and that's game. And that's the GG's. So, that was actually more of a convincing game for Bravery, I think. Um... Making the right decisions there was obviously important as well, but 
from what you just seen, having the spread out EVs on that bravery. Um, okay, so. It's actually really hard. I mean, we could. How do you run this? I could like beat up and then tow in next turn. We could Dynamax Bravery first turn and just clean up the Lucario and anticipate that's what it's going to be. We can even run a Sinora as well for like the fake out. But uh, actually, it's not that great. Considering Prankstar. Even double up on the Kari, maybe. Maybe run Primarina and then. Maybe we want to run as our last Mon here. Or do we want to run as our last Mon here? <laughs> um. Pfft. It's a Malmine Surfage, Surfage, I think. Oh, that was close. I nearly stuffed that up. Nearly just had the top full book one of that would have been awkward. <laughs> Alright, let's go again against Halbury. Uh, sorry, at Halbury Stadium. Alright. Wish me luck. I'm gonna get need it. One step from Eden. Ah, uh, Tojikis Astro. Okay. Here we go. Right, so how's this going to work? How is this going to work? If it doesn't? Okay, no, that's good. So, we're anticipating the follow me. Okay, that's all right. We get tailwind off now, and now this is when game happens. Okay. Oh no! Okay. All right, so that works now. Extra drill's gone. That's good. I like that. We we'll just just wipe him. Wow, okay, that hit hard, that's good, especially against Tajikis. Who's he gonna hit, though? Maybe make him flinch? Or not? Just, oh, we got a crit. Alright. So we trade one for one, but we got Tailwind off, which is awesome. So now. Yeah, this is the issue. We, we're just gonna go Primarina. We'll go Prima and see if the Rena can deliver the Dina. Okay, yeah, that was lame. What ifs, dude? <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, he's gonna withdraw him. So does that mean Arcanines? Oh, this is good. This is actually really good. Hyper Voice is gonna hit this Arcanine. Throat Spray. And if I can one hit this Bristle Scout, which I can. Oh, no, Focus Ash. And that's okay, Bravery showing its worth now. Oh, beat up. But he can't Dynamax this turn. The thing is, I... I think he would've been better off actually letting the Tajikis get wiped there. I think. Because that's what happens. You nearly one hit an Arcanine. So the thing is now, I can actually just Dynamax Bravery comfortably, knowing that this is our last tier Pokemon. Like, he's gonna make a bold decision here, like, who's he gonna... This theoretically should win us a game. I mean, he's probably gonna Dynamax Arcanine, which is, it should be obvious. And then, he will try and... It depends, if he kills off Bravery, then, you know... Primarina should clean up. There's no way they're gonna one like. There's no way they're gonna kill this Primarina.
Okay, so he's got Dynamax the Arcanine, yep. Hoping for that extra little bit of HP. It's good that I used that type of voice before, though, when he swapped out. That was really good. Like, we knew he had Arcanine, but we didn't know who's actually going to use him in this battle. So now he's got, like, a quarter HP Arcanine. You know, we are not. Just going to use Follow Me instead. But we've got Hyper Voice Suprema, so that's okay. We max Airstream. The beautiful part about that is we, we boost our speed start on both Bravery and Primarina. So even though Primarina is, like, really slow... We've got Tailwind and we've got the speed boost, so we'll see. Yep, she gets it off and wins the game. That's it. That's basically it. And that's how you play it. <laughs> I literally swapped in Primarina and then the team just changes. That Pokemon used to win me so many games, I don't actually know why I stopped using her. But bring her back in the first game we get a win under the belt. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next Pokemon video. Peace.